What's good? It's your solo dolo fellow dolo dude, Deuce Duke. I'm sitting here with the homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Way back in college, legend Darren. I finally have made it onto Dolo Reacts, and I'm excited to be here. Let's get it on the way. Okay. <laughs> hey, man, he's a big movie star. He humble as hell, man, you know what I'm saying? This nigga done been on all kind of, like, big-time movies, you know what I'm saying? A lot of my big movies, he got me into it. So let's clap it up for the legend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The year has truly passed I could bet you by the dollar I think we moving too fast I just need some time to think It's been years since my last But I'll be down to date again But it's some questions I should ask I, I, I know, yeah I know that that shit bro If I told you I don't like him You'd be down to let him go Cause if so then oh The legend himself But well, all that's on him Cause he showed up And he put the work in So that's a fact, hey, I just man. I just spread the word And then If niggas wanna me. listen They listen If they don't listen Then they don't listen <laughs> Alright <laughs> You know what the fuck We talking about We finna talk about This Tyson fight man oh. Mike Tyson versus Versus Jake Paul Any thoughts like Before we even get to it, I'm gonna watch this Little highlight reel I'm gonna uh Do like a little reaction Thing to it But any thoughts beforehand You just want me to play it Beforehand uh, I just wanna Ask the public is Mike Tyson okay right now? That's that's all I want to ask the public. Is he okay? I I, I, I really am concerned <laughs> about Mike Tyson after watching that fight. I just want to know if anybody who knows him personally <laughs> is he okay? I, I really do. He put his 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 uh his life on the line, and I I, I feel like he did it for a great cause. So. We're gonna talk about it, man. All right, so this is just the highlight reels. <laughs> Now look at that uh, 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 instantly. He, start, he started off hot. He started off real hot. This is the first round. Look, 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 look how fast he's, he's moving. He's moving fast as hell. Now that 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 stun. Did you see that stun? Yeah, it stunned him. They they told Tyson they said first round you can box. And then and then um I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about it later, but yeah. I think he's slowing down. The age is showing. Hey, Jake Paul got him a few times. Look look look. That's like his signature move. He hits you with the left jab and he comes in with the right hook. The two jabs was a, a lot to take. Yeah. Yeah, and it. Jake Paul can fight. Yo, Jake can fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a stun on uh, Tyson. Tyson, and, yeah. Tyson definitely felt that. Bam! Bam! Right. But hold on, man. Now, 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 Tyson, get him back. I hope they do that replay, too. And then you said that hook right there. Yeah, that, that, that's definitely Boom. Yeah, that, 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 if, if it was only a little bit higher. No, I'm going to tell you about the, the uppercut. I'm, okay. I'm going to tell you about the uppercut. This is crazy. All right. Man, this is so sad. Does he have Old Tyson would have knocked out Paul. Yeah, bad. It is Arsenal. Look, just look and Jake Paul knows how to fight, but the yeah. old Mike Tyson would have. Because it would have been a match. The way he was moving later in the rounds and that body was low, I was I was just feeling so like emotional watching it. I couldn't watch it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I couldn't. Just mm. watching him bite the gloves every time. But I have my theories on that. We got. Ooh, we gonna get into the theories, man. Man, we man this would have been a perfect moment for the big ass, bro. My body my pencil ass, bro. He gonna he gonna disrespect a legend like that. He gonna bow in front of the legend. If I was Mike Tyson, I would have been like. Oh, perfect opportunity to knock his ass out. The fight was still technically going on. He could have definitely, you know what I'm saying? That was his chance to do something that hey, ain't never been done before. <laughs> Man, I wish Mike Tyson would have popped his ass right there. You're trying to make him the wrong kind of legend, man, you know. But I feel you. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. We all wanted Tyson. And this part made me sad, too, in the end. That they actually decided to pick him? Yeah, and then and then Mike Tyson went in for the handshake. Jay Paul didn't receive the handshake. Look, 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 oh, he going look, for a handshake look. and he don't... Yeah, look, bro. Oh! Bro, he's promoting his spray. No one care about your spray, bro. I didn't peep that the first time I saw it. Bro, no one care about his spray. I mean, I get it's good, it's good promotion. But they end up hugging after this or something, right? Oh, yeah, they did, they did. They took photos and hugs. He just didn't see it. He didn't see it. Ah, oh, that's weak it, still. I just felt so bad for Mike Tyson, bro. Like, he didn't okay. deserve that. 
That's a legend, man. A legend. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my thoughts real quick. So first off, everybody wanted Mike Tyson to win because that's the legend. People in our generation didn't actually get to see Mike Tyson fight for real. Mm -hmm. So whenever we get a chance to see him fight, he fought against Roy Jones Jr. And now he did this fight. We want to see what everybody saw. We know that he hits hard. You know what I'm saying? There's footage of it. But we wanted to see that live. And Facts. he didn't come with that attitude. And I think there's a lot of reasons, bro. There's a lot of reasons. First, I think that he clocked in to work and he clocked out of work. Mm -hmm. You could tell when he was running out, bro, he had to look on his face. It's a familiar look, bro. That's the look that you give when you like, man, I'm clocking in and then I'm finna just clock, clock on out. out. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Basically. So yeah. that's what it was all about, man. What, what do you think about that? Man, uh, I agree. I, I think off rip, this is my conspiracy or theory on the fight. Uh, what, what did he say when he was biting his glove? He said it was a fixation or something. Did he? I didn't hear that. Uh, something at the end when they asked him, like, Mike, well, you was biting your glove. What is that? He said, oh, I always do that. I always fight. I always fight my, fight my glove. You know, um, that's a your bad accident. Crazy, not that. <laughs> but uh, he said something about like it's a fixation. But there's a word in fixation. Fix. I think the fight was fixed from the jump. <laughs> 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 you see what I was doing? Really ran like a fish. I really ran. I threw the, I threw, it, I threw the, uh, uh, the rod and I really ran. So I think it was a fix from the jump. Because um, there was moments where we seen Mike Tyson moving. In his training videos, he could move. He showed us he can move. But in the ring, he was just standing still. His hips wasn't really moving like that. I get it, he's older. But I still think he still got some gas left in the tank, y'all. I think it was fixed. And then I think when he was biting on his glove, he was holding himself back from turning back into the old Mike Tyson. I think the biting on the glove was a mechanism for him to like, okay, stop, 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 stop. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Don't knock him out. Don't knock him out. Stop right now. <laughs> yeah, that's my theory. So the crazy thing is, apparently your theory is not so much even of a theory. Okay. Okay. Because have y'all heard the contract? Everybody, before they do a fight, they sit down and they sign these contracts. And some people have specific contracts. You know, uh, Mayweather is known for having his people go through uh, specific contracts before they fight. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Jake Paul had gave a contract where there was a few stipulations that Mike had to follow in order to get the whole $20 million. Wow. Now, the first stipulation, wow. and I heard them, I, I honestly feel like I heard them say it on the broadcast, but I might be making that up because yeah. I was on the phone with somebody at the uh, time. They said that if the uh, fight doesn't go over four rounds, then it's not official, which means wow. he wouldn't be getting his full pay. Now, to me, I'm like, well, what if he knocked him out in the first round? This is a fight. This is, this is about, you know what I'm saying? Like, he did all that contract shit. That's, you know what I'm saying? That that yeah. didn't even make sense to me. And I, you know, I was always saying it's like the only way Tyson loses is if it was fixed. You know what I'm saying? Other Fixation. parts, yeah, the other parts in the contract, bro, that blew my mind. Allegedly, right? Because you know, I was, I saw this from somebody's video. Apparently, in the contract, he wasn't allowed to uppercut. And that's one of his signature things. You it know what I'm saying? Uppercut. He didn't throw no uppercuts. He wasn't allowed to throw uppercuts. And what? I think the other thing too, I think the fight had to go the distance or something like that. It had to I don't go know. eight rounds? I wish I could show you. We're using my phone to record right now. There was a lot of things in the, uh, in the contract that he had to abide to to get the entire payout, which blows my mind. Cause it's like, at this point, yeah, we could have just chipped in to get you the whole 20 million. Like, Man, I don't know. On, we needed you to knock out Jake Paul, bro. The whole black community would have gave bro. you the 20 million. We taking too many right? L's right now. Yeah, it's way too many, dog. But that's all I heard. I saw it on the video and I had my thoughts even before that. But even even without all that stuff, like I said, you could look at his face and he it had he had the look of not wanting to be there. Yeah. It, it's like I felt like he had a lot of regret on his face. It's it was a lot of like, this ain't me, man. This ain't me. It was a lot of that. But this ain't me, man. This ain't me. <laughs> Literally. Uh, uh because uh obviously I think he did it for a bigger purpose and a bigger meaning. Um he did come out with a statement after the fight talking about uh his blood transfers and mm -hmm. how uh from the first original day uh he almost died around that time and that's that's sad to me to hear that uh, i'm glad that mike is still with us and that the doctors did everything they could to help him become healthy again but Absolutely. um yeah man it, it really um dawned on me and uh he said like yo 
know, like, this is still a win, you know, and I was like, damn, like, the reality it is, like, he's 58 years old, mm -hmm. getting in the ring with a 27-year-old mm -hmm. who is in his top shape. Which, that, that that's an amazing feat. People... That kind of age gap doesn't happen. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? LeBron is trying to pull it off a little bit in the NBA. LeBron gonna play till he's 70. <laughs> he gonna be dunking at 71. But if that's, I'm still alive to see it, we are gonna see man, LeBron dunking at 71. <laughs> the day he retires, the day we officially getting old. I ain't yo, gonna lie. no, technically, yo, it's already happening. <laughs> we already getting old. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. But no, that kind of thing is unheard of. So the fact that he did get in the ring with somebody literally half his age, yeah, it's very. I've heard of as long as he is happy with the ink the outcome of the fight i'm that's what i'm trying to tell myself like i'll hey, be happy with 20 yeah m's. yeah you know you what i'm saying know, we, like, we we could have got you the 20 m's yeah. but i get it at the same time you know what i'm saying like you got a family to feed. he was clocking in to work you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying he got a family to feed yeah i get it he, may, he maybe he needs the money we don't really know his personal life that's why i asked if someone does know about his personal life or in contact with him check on him Check on Make him. Make sure that he's okay. Make sure he's doing it right. Cause you know that I feel like that, that attacked his pride. Even though he probably let go of his pride a long time ago. I feel like Mike let go of his ego and pride a long time ago. Yeah. To me, he's a different person. And to be honest with you, that kind of steers into the next thing I was going to say. Believe it or not, I think before the fight, I knew that he was not going to win or at least not going to give it his 100%. He had did a, a interview with uh, this little journalist girl named Jazzy or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he talked and, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what he asked. She had she asked him, the "What's the? Uh, how do you feel about legacy or something along the lines of that? And he's like, it's nothing. Like yeah. it, it doesn't mean shit. You, mm -hmm. you die, you're gone. And it's just like, damn, why is he being so cold mm -hmm. right before this fight? But in the context of this fight, bro, legacy, like he he's not trying to harp on his legacy because maybe he knew he wasn't gonna win. You know what I'm saying? Like if yeah. that was the point after he inside the contract, he can't do no uppercuts or he can't do this, or he can't do that. Has to go past. For, he already yeah. knew. It's like man. Fuck legacy, you know. I'm yeah. here for the money, and that's it. It is what it is. He could have been a little nicer to Jazzy, though. You know what I'm saying? But like, I appreciate yeah. him for being. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was real with her. He was real with her. Yeah, he kept it a hundred, a buck. They call it a buck, right? A buck. He kept it a buck twenty nine. You know, you enough know? to get on the bus. I feel like he had like the mindset of just fuck it. Um, and fuck it is a very powerful word. If you really think about it, when you say fuck it, it's kind of like. Hey, there's no like bars or anything holding you down and you know, holding you back. So, uh, this is the thing, too. Like, I kind of understand exactly where he's coming from, right? I agree, right? Yeah, legacy don't really mean anything. The bottom line is, me and you both know Mike Tyson will beat my ass, your ass, yes. respectfully. Yeah, yeah. No, Ain't not. nobody finna test Mike Tyson. We know well, his legacy. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, yeah. but like. In the context of him just getting his money, he like, man, it don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? Get your check. I'm not I'm not, I'm not mad at the fact that he had to clock in to work because we do that. Stuff. Yeah, we you all do that. Yeah. So, so and he put on, they put on a show uh, regardless of everything. Hey, they said the fight, the fights before were more interesting. They were. With, with uh, white, Taylor, Taylor and, uh. Dia and the girl, the white girl and, yeah. uh, and the Puerto Rican. Oh my God. Did you see that? Bro, her, her eye. It her was eye folded right over. Got cut. Mm -hmm. The skin started falling off and her skin meat, it started talking like a mouth. <laughs> like that. I think she should have won though. I ain't gonna lie. That other girl was oh, kind of like. Oh, of course. I don't know okay. what. So the other girl, like, if you want to, talk, we want to talk about that fight for a Let's go. Bit. Let's go. The, the other girl, uh, the, uh, uh, the Cuban, was she a Cuban or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Country Puerto Ireland. Rican. No, 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 Ireland. Ireland and the Puerto Rican. The Puerto Rican one was the one with the cut. The Ireland uh, female, uh, her strategy was leading in with her head, so yeah. she would get free head butts in the fight, in the boxing fight. She this was trying not, to wrestle. She was trying to wrestle. This ain't USC. This is boxing. <laughs> She 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 always every time she about to come in she leans in with her head, mm -hmm. head but the girl in the eye literally cut the eye. She shouldn't have won that fight. Did it four more times in the same spot. The gash was so widened that I thought they was gonna call the fight, but the fight kept going. It was entertaining. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, oh, and I had a feeling yeah. in my gut. I was like, bro, they letting this shit happen. They not finna be on Mike Tyson's side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I thought the referee and all the officials was gonna be against him. Cause I was yeah. like, look how they just played this fight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like the Puerto Rican won in all the numbers too. She posted it. Literally, on Instagram. yeah. She won, in every she won the scorecard. Number. 
She won that fight. She won that fight. That's the real travesty. Because yeah. the fights leading up to the Mike Tyson fight, we could say Mike Tyson was staged. You know, they were damn near yeah. acting at that point. But the fights leading up to it were real. Real. And that girl was robbed. Yes. You get what I'm saying? What's her name? Taylor? I don't remember, but... I'm so sorry. I, I'll put it in. I'll put it in. Yeah. <laughs> you won that fight. Taylor. You are a better fighter. You are a better boxer. Oh, girl was trying to wrestle you. Mm -hmm. And I'll definitely say that. You know what I'm saying? I'll stick yeah. to those guys. And, and, it, and um, they, they talked about it. Taylor and her people talked about it during after the fight that that's her. She does that. She always uses her head. And she always leave cuts on her opponents. Like, mm. come on, boxing. Y'all got to look into that more. Y'all got to, you know... You gotta look into that. Yeah, they, they stop that from occurring again because that's technically cheating. It's, it's, it's cheating. <laughs> it's, it, it is cheating. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. avenues for her. No, I feel you. <laughs> if if she wanna headbutt motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Go to the other sport. They got WWE. They got motherfucking UFC. You yep. feel me? They got street fighting. Uh, I'm sure Ireland got their own league. You know what I'm saying? Yup. Gladiator fighting. <laughs> if you wanna time travel and go back to Rome and fight at the Coliseum. Oh, they got. Hey, but the fuck out of them motherfuckers Cause you gotta survive or you're gonna die But boxing is a rule sport You know what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> You gotta understand the sweet science <laughs> You gotta you gotta. It's all here yeah. It's all here You can't, you know what I'm saying Can't use nothing else So If you ain't got these Then you ain't a boxer That's a fact, man Come on. Final thoughts, man Final thoughts At the end of the day I feel like none of this is going to jeopardize Mike Tyson's career. Uh, Mike Tyson will always still be Mike Tyson to everybody. He will always still be an icon, a living legend. Even if he doesn't want a legacy about his life, I feel like we all still going to truly love him we and love respect him, him mm -hmm. for who he is. And this doesn't take anything from his career. We all are just sad and we wanted him to win mm -hmm. and beat. Paul. What's his name? Jake? Jake Paul. Paul. We wanted Paul to go down and Mike Tyson to wear the crown. Hey, That's man. what we wanted. I, 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 no hate to Jake Paul, but his arrogance, you know what I'm saying? We, mm. we I, I always go for the underdog. And in this situation, Tyson was kind of the underdog because he was the older he guy. Was older, yeah. But then when you got to pulling out in the car and doing all the asshole shit, you know what I'm saying? And just be like, right before they showed him, it's like, I'm going to beat his ass. I was like, who do you think you're talking to? It's like, yeah. this is... I really wanted Mike Tyson to, you know what I'm saying? To stop that. To stop yeah. that. To humble... The, the 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 best learning experience anybody could have is to be humble. You know what I'm amen saying? So that. like, amen to that. I wanted it, and then the second part too. My bad. No, no, you go ahead, keep going. The black folks needed a win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just lost in the elections. Yep. Kamala Harris. Shout out to Kamala Harris too. You did mm -hmm. a great job for stepping in late in the game, and you definitely brought it. You brought your A game. That's a fact. Game, for real. The last black woman to run for president was Shirley Chisholm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you really did your big that. one. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shirley Chisholm. So, you you set a new president. She's running for president and getting as far as she did, she made history. She made history. Um, But just to get back on topic, you know what I'm saying? She took the L, you know what I'm saying? Tyson took the L, but at least, but at least Kung Fu Kenny took a dub. You know what I'm saying? Kung Fu Kenny. Yeah. That was the one black victory of this year. And I'm going to call it a black victory because they not like us. I feel like unified a Everybody. lot of people. You know Everybody. what I'm saying? Everybody. So. I, I worked the event in the summertime and they played that song six times. And... <laughs> I did not get tired of it once. Why? <laughs> because everybody, when that song came on, gathered together and started dancing. It was they started, they started. They, 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 show, show them how to do it. <laughs> doing that, doing that, and around. I, I can't, I can't, I can't dance like a Cali uh, um, citizen. But <laughs> I try, I try my best to. To, to hit the dance moves. Darren, you had a dance though. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, I did. You did have a dance. Did. You, you, you actually, you, you, you impressed me with that dance. I was like, ooh, that's simple, easy to learn. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I, I got you it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we can hit it. We can hit it real quick. <laughs> yeah, we can hit it. So, you know, this is, we're, we're taking it back to 2019. But one day, I just woke up and I was like, hold up. I feel the buzz. <laughs> no, hey, hey, so, so, so we're gonna start with the right. So just like hey. ah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you gotta get real into it, yo. You gotta. You's a goofy man. So he know how to dance, but no, I feel you. I feel you. These Cali Respect. niggas got new moves. You know nah, what I'm they, saying? They, they some of the best dancers I ever seen. You ever seen a, a Cali nigga float when he be crip walking all that shit? Yo, I be like, how do you move your feet like that? My brain don't connect with my feet. My feet don't connect with my brain. Man. So if my feet are moving, my brain ain't moving. If my brain moves, my feet ain't moving. For real. So you might as well be walking on clouds, bro. Right, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Talking. It's been a joy talking yeah, with you, man. man. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, it's your solo dollar fellow dollar dude, dudes, dude. We are signing off. Let girls run all over. I told myself never again. Ooh, ooh, ooh.